Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition. So let's go ahead and jump in. So first, what is Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition? It's a full featured extensible free IDE for creating modern applications for Android, iOS, Windows, as well as web applications and cloud services. So the Community Edition is the free version of Visual Studio and you can download it free of charge. It's a, intended for students, open source developers, and individual developers. It's not intended for corporate teams. You need a licensed ed edition for corporate teams to be able to do that. So what can you develop with Visual Studio? You can develop all kinds of applications. You can develop web and cloud applications. There's native connections for doing Azure development. You can do Python development. There's features for desktop development, for .NET, .NET desktop development, as well as mobile development with .NET and Xamarin. There's also mobile development with C++ as well. There's also a gaming interface, and you can develop games with Unity and also with C++. And there's a number of other tool sets that are available as well. So you could do Linux development with C++, Office and SharePoint applications, Visual Studio extensions, and also .NET Core, which is .NET's cross-platform development environment. So there's a lot of flexibility with Visual Studio. So what are the requirements? Well, here are the requirements for the runtime. You really need a modern version of Windows to install Visual Studio 19. As far as the hardware requirements, they recommend that you have a 1.8 gigahertz or faster processor, two gigabytes of RAM, a minimum of 800 megabytes of disk space, and a SSD solid state drive is recommended for better performance. You can also look at the video requirements and a minimum display resolution of 720p. So it's a pretty heavyweight package. You do need a decent hardware platform to run this on as well as a modern operating system. So where do you get Visual Studio? You can go to https visualstudio.microsoft.com and go ahead and download the 2019 Community Edition. So let's go ahead and jump into the demo. I'm going to show you how to download Visual Studio Community 2019, how to install the software, and then, of course, hello world to do a simple test. So let's go ahead and jump in to take a look at how we install this software. Okay, first I'm going to go out to visualstudio.com and then I'm going to go to the community download. So I'm going to go ahead and kick off the download for the software and then now in just a few minutes then I have my download. So once I've got that done, I'm going to go ahead and launch this and this is really the pre-installer. So let me go ahead and click on this and we'll go ahead and kick off the install process. So the first process is pretty lightweight and I'll go ahead and allow it to run here. And it really just downloads a shim for the installer. And uh, let me go ahead and put both of these windows away. And I'll go ahead and kick off this installer. And through the magic of video editing, I'll speed up this download process. And then it brings me to the installer page where I can select which features I want to install. And I want to caution you here that these features are not lightweight that take a long time to install. So I'm going to click just a couple of these and uh, I'll also select the Python package here. So I have just three packages that I'm going to install. So I'm going to go ahead and click the install button. And this kicks off a secondary download. And this really takes some time depending on what you've selected. And again, through the magic of video editing, I've sped up this process so you don't have to wait through this, but it was a lengthy install process. So once you're done, you can launch Visual Studio itself. And again, this takes a while the first time you run it. And it asks you if you want to sign up, sign into your developer account. So I just skipped this for now. And in this step, it asks me what do I want to have for my default color scheme. So there's four of these that are available. I'm going to go ahead and select one as well as selecting the setup for C Sharp because that's mostly what I develop in. So once you do that, it's going to ask you what you want to do in Visual Studio. Now it's going to launch Visual Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and select that I want to create a console program. That, that's the simplest way I can kind of test this out and make sure everything's working okay. 
And once I click next, it'll go ahead and ask me for a name for my project. So once again, this is Hello World, our first program, the one that you always traditionally do in a language. And so now it's going to launch it with my new configuration. And it'll go ahead and have a stub of that C Sharp program for our console program. So there we have it. Visual Studio is now launched. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to read. So there's a zoom feature in the lower left-hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and select this to make the code a little bit bigger. And then I'm just going to make a simple change to this. I'm just going to put in my name is Eric. There we go. And then once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and launch the program by saying start without debugging. And it should go ahead and compile this and bring it up. And we should see that there's my Hello World program. Press any button to continue. So that's really it for the install. So we went through the steps of how to install the software and then launch a simple program just to verify that everything was working okay. I will tell you, I don't have the fastest notebook computer in the world and that's what I installed it on. But that process took about an hour to do. So it's a really heavyweight tool. Visual Studio is a fantastic tool to develop in, but you really do need to have a fast piece of hardware to get the best out of Visual Studio, particularly the install process. So thank you so much for your interest in this video. If you like these types of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.